YouTube, what is up guys? I'm doing something I've never done. I don't think I've done. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take a second to check my YouTube channel because I've done one review, but I think it's been on a sponsor video. I'm trying to review my very first video part today. So we're gonna look at it. Just, hold on, I'm gonna make sure I haven't done this. I would like to take this moment to point out that I spelled probably wrong on my whiteboard. I am a human being and I make mistakes. And I hope you guys can forgive me. On with the video. Okay, it doesn't look like I have. I'm safe. So yeah, this is from the very first video I ever put out. I was 16 when I skated in this, and uh, I'd been skating for about two years, I think. And um, I put this video out on VHS. DVDs existed, but uh, it was just a little more bigger operation. So I put, we put it on a VHS, and we sold it on our local school. This is from my skate team from when I was in high school, the Beachmont Mob. If you read my book, uh, which you can get it right down there, um, it is, it, we were called the crew in the book. The book is like insanely highly based on things that happened in my life. It's like 98% accurate. So yeah, we were the Beachmont Mob and we put out a video. Uh, it was called Turn Lane and this is my video part from it. So uh, I'm gonna pause it and chop it up and talk about all the shots in it and I hope you guys enjoy. Unfortunately, the, the song, you might be able to subtly hear it. I can't like show you the video part as it is because it's a copyrighted song. It's no effects. Uh, Dinosaurs Will Die, which is an awesome song. I used to listen to a lot of punk rock. I still listen to a lot of punk rock, but uh, yeah, I was rocking some no effects back then. Where is this file? Skate videos, go figure. Okay, turn lane. Okay, here it is, and wow, this quality is gonna be so bad, I'm sorry. This has came a long way. It's gone to like, from like, a camera to a computer to a million computers, and now it's finally on my laptop here in 2016. I was 16 years old when I filmed this, and um, Aaron Cairo just texted me. All right, so let's watch it. All right, are we ready? Boom. Back with 80. Front blunt to fakey. Okay, F from the get-go, this this part, I did. We didn't even. We had no idea if how to film video parts. Like we didn't know that you should just skate straight. So we, we like put flat park footage in our driveway. We put skate park footage. There were no rules back then, and uh, especially with my shoes, because look at those shoes. I didn't. I didn't look in the mirror and ever think like, do I look all right? Should I like probably think about what I'm wearing? It just it just kind of happened. Lip slide. I love that rail. This is the Corona skate park rail and it's like the best rail to learn handrails so you did a bunch of tricks there and then you took it to streets and it was amazing so i also had no idea to put like the hard tricks at the end so like like there i did a lip slide and then i did a front board faking i probably should have switched those around but whatever okay that's an eight stair at ucr that was like my first three double flip that was the a board side on hollywood no, it was not. It was a board side on the NKU 8 which is not there. That was the most perfect rail in skateboarding. And these clips are very fast, so I'm sorry that I keep pausing. This is a switch 50-50 finger flip out. I don't think I've done that trick since. Like, I pretty much that day, I was like, I should do a switch 50-50 finger flip. And, and then I did it, and I, that, that's it. That's in the past. It was a very large gap, and my friend had no idea. All of us, we had no idea that, like, we don't have fisheye lenses, so we probably shouldn't get too close. So half of these spots are way bigger than they actually look like. I love the back those back then, that was pretty good. That's the LA library, I think it's still there, but we got kicked out that day, and I would have loved to do more tricks on it. I never got to skate that spot for more than five minutes, so I never did any tricks on it. Backlip, super sloppy backlip to fakie, but that, I missed that ledge, it was the dumbest ledge ever, but it was awesome. It's pretty big ollie back then. Kick from a six. That gap. No angle could justify how hard that gap was to skate. It was low and long. And I like to this day, I don't think I could three flip it. That was awesome. That was so awesome. Uh, so I got sacked. It didn't like hit me in the testicles, so it just bruised my underside a lot. And then uh, I got up, and two tries later, I landed it. Boom. That was like the one stylish thing in my part too. I was man, my style's been all over the place over the years. That's a pretty big gap. All right, I could barely. I probably hadn't even ollied an eight stair at that point. That's like the biggest gap where I grew up. It's so huge, and uh, it hurt to walk. If you watch it again, my knee freaking blew up. I shouldn't have tried it, but I just like I like threw things in the video part. I was like, this is an awesome fall. I'm gonna throw it in there. I missed that ledge so much. That's again one of the smoother tricks in my part. That angle was awful. Sorry, Joe, but that angle was bad. <laughs> that was like a very, like a big, big flip. I don't know what to call it. Like a big flip over this gap. It was more like a varial flip rolling sideways. Let's see if my toe dragged. Let's go back and watch. I feel like I would have redone it if my toe dragged. Maybe it just looked like it did. Nose blunt. That was, that was the funnest ledge in the whole world. That's one of the bigger back 180s I've ever done. That was a big 10 stair at uh, University of California Riverside, UCR. That's probably my favorite kickflip I've ever done. 
Yeah, that's a big gap, another low and long gap. That's all we had on Beach Mall where we grew up. I didn't want to use that for my video part. I remember this, this 5-0, I was like, it's just a 5-0. My friend's like, dude, it's so good. It's just a 5-0, to this day, it's just a 5-0. But uh, whatever, you know, I was 16. This is the ugliest kill of a big 50-50 I could have, I could have done to Casper Flip. Nolly 50 on the best ledge that's ever existed. That's got torn out. It was so good. And here's a freaking skate park clip. I don't know why I put a double flip on a hip in my part, but that's what happened. This trick, I didn't even land it. I just was so psyched. I still got three flip on that gap because it was so big. Full cab. There you go. I, I three flipped this gap earlier in my part. Now I'm kick flipping it. Granted, this one was way smoother and like the angle's better, but uh, I've been doing one foot of nose grinds my entire life, clearly. Because that was a trick in like Tony Hawk Pro Skater thing, and I was like, um, I'm good. I felt so good. There you go. That was the dumbest rollaway I could have had, but I love that trick. I feel so good. Now I back lip. Another three double. Funny trick there. Forgive me for wearing camo pants because I'm not Doug Desitels. It's the only dude that should wear camo. I just thought that looked really cool. That very flip. I was like, I'm going to use my part because it wasn't hard for me even back then. And this next trick. Look at that. Okay. That, I was skating for eight months when I did that kickflip, all right? That was the trick that when I did it, all the kids at school like realized I was like a, a real skateboarder because they used to call me poser and say I would never get good at skating and they used to hate on me. Uh, but I did that trick and everyone was like, okay, man, you're, you're all right. It, moral of that story though is don't choose your friends by the skate tricks they do. Just be nice to everyone and be friends with who you want to be. All right, this is the ending of my part. That one felt amazing. A touch, but I just want to keep going. That one took a long time, okay? That backside flip and that double flip are is probably my favorite backside flip and double flip I've ever done. Uh, that was an RCC in Riverside. I filmed a lot in Riverside, but that's like the greatest double set to exist. That was Christmas Day, and I thought it was a good idea to wear red, but it turned out awesome. That was probably one of my favorite days of skateboarding ever. Like, I just stayed at that spot until I landed that, and I remember when I landed that double flip, I was so wor overworked. I, like, started dry heaving and puking, but I didn't have anything to puke up, so I just kind of, like was in misery for a while, it was awful. But yeah, that, that was my video part from Beach Mount Mob's first video, Turn Lane, and uh, I hope you guys dug it. I definitely didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how to sync certain things with uh, the music and whatnot. It was like one of the first things I've ever edited. I put skate park stuff in there, and you know, I just kind of threw together what, whatever I had. Um, but the video came together, everyone, all the dudes back then had a video part in it. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was just, we wanted to skate and have fun and, and goof off and we made a video of it and that's what it was. Um, like I said, it, it, this is talked about in my book, like the whole story of everything I went through, including this video being released is in my book and that'll be, a, there'll be a link right down there. But, um, hope you guys dug this. Um, I'm sorry if I paused and cut it up so much. So all in all, I mean like there's a lot of things to point out and complain about at video parts, but I was 16. I'd been skating for about two years and, uh, I was, I, Looking back, I'm pretty happy that I put together that sort of skating for the amount of time I'd been skating, and uh, I'm, happy, I'm happy about myself. And I mean, a lot of people are probably saying, like, Andy, what happened? You used to do big gaps and stuff. And uh, one, I was younger, so I just naturally jumped down stuff. Um, this, these days, I feel like I'm way better and have more board control overall. Like, I feel a better skateboarder than I did back then, that's for sure. Um, and you gotta keep in mind that if I land something these days down a gap or a rail, I'm probably not gonna put it on YouTube, I'm gonna save it for my video parts. But yeah, I would love to be in California skating all the time and able to jump down stuff and get more tricks like that. To everyone probably thinking that like I was way better back then, um, maybe at flip tricks down gaps, but that is it. Like that is the only thing I was better at during this video part. And even now today, if I roll up my sleeves, I could do way bigger flip tricks down gaps, I feel like. 10 years ago, I probably would have made fun of myself a lot more, but I'm pretty psyched. Um, I'm, the next video part is is all the, a lot of the tricks are sloppy. If you guys want to see more like this, I will totally do more because I have two other video parts that I could review. Actually, three other video parts I could review. Um, that would be fun. So let me know if you guys want to see more. Uh, but if not, I will uh, see you guys tomorrow because I do daily videos. So hit the subscribe button if you want to see more from me. And uh, that's it. Hope you guys have a good day. Brian Ames face, ladies and gentlemen. He's he's kind of creepy now that I think about it. He's always. He's not staring at me. If he was staring at me, that'd be weird, but he's kind of just looking at the ceiling. Brian's weird. Or am I weird for having his face on my desk? I don't know. Have a seat, Sam Tabor. Do you, when, you, when you come in here, do you automatically think you're going to get made to look like an idiot? Or paid. I, think, I guess that's a good option, yeah. So he's a, he, just, he gets a check or made to look like an idiot. Okay. Uh, so sit down and watch this video. Okay. And is this then a reaction video? No, I just want. I, this is my, have you ever seen my first video Fine part? Bros. What? They're gonna sue you. you. Have you ever seen my first video part? Yeah. You have. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna just watch it, and you're just gonna tell me what you think. Okay. That was the weirdest kickflip. Your feet come off the board every ollie. Boom. There you go. What do you think?